Hello families. I thought I would just take a minute to talk to you about setting up a schedule for students at home. Um, I know that a lot of you are wanting to try and maintain um, a consistent schedule and maintain a routine, um, which I always encourage. I think that that's fantastic. And I just wanted to provide you with some examples for some supports to do that. So this is an example of a vis visual schedule. This is very similar to one that we use at school where students can pull them off and it is done with board maker. If you have access to a program like this, this is a great way to make a visual schedule for your kids at home. You can see when kids are done with the activity that's on their schedule, they just pull it off and they know that they are finished with that activity for the day. But they get to look and see what else is on their schedule. This helps with that predictability piece and helps also with transitioning from one thing to the next. And again, it is a great way to incorporate some of those school activities. Here you can see we have school on this one. This was actually my son's when he was younger, but um, <clears throat> create any kind of pictures that work for you and um, you can incorporate some of those school activities that you want to as well. For those that do not have access to things like board maker, which is probably mostly everybody, <laughs> um, I wanted to give you an example of another kind of schedule. This one here is just one that I made with a piece of paper. All I did was just fold it in half, the, the hot dog way, the long way. Fold it in half like this. And then um, I just cut four for my example. You can have more if you want, or you can even make a longer schedule depending on how many things you're trying to fit on a schedule. So for this one here, <clears throat> I made this for Mr. Lindsay to help him remember what needs to be done around the house. <laughs> so for instance, this one here is garbage. So, hey, reminder, today is Tuesday. It's um, take the garbage out day. So he's good. that's a reminder to take the garbage out when he's done with that. Close that up and he's all done. Check what's next on the list. Ah, time to do the dishes. Done. Close that and he's done for the day. And then he can remember whatever's coming next. You can see here that I actually used post-its. Post-its I love because they do make these things interchangeable. For example, today might be garbage day, but I wanna change it so that tomorrow when he goes to check his schedule, he knows, ah, I gotta take out the recycling. So then when he's done with that, close it up and he's done with recycle and he can move on to his next chores. So again, another very simple way that you can make a home schedule for kids at home.